going on guys we're back with another, with another rng recruit interview this time we've got with us in my opinion an underrated and a high upside 2025 offensive lineman coming from the state of florida um he's just getting recognized a lot more by the bigger colleges now they're starting to show him a lot more love and they've been showing him love along the way they saw that talent a while ago and now they're starting to give those offers out and i'm really excited to have him on here because i believe he is truly one of the up-and-coming players at his position on the offensive line in the 2025 class. What's up, Garrett? So, how you doing? Good, man. Good. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the fans. Were you able to hear me? Oh, I think he froze. Can you hear me? <laughs> Hey, what is yeah, you, you froze for just a sec. Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead and uh, uh, introduce yourself to the fans, you know, let them know your name, position, high school, what class you're in, you know, all that. My name is Jared Gordon. I go to Trinity Catholic, class of 25, left guard, center. Is a left guard or center yes. what you're mostly being recruited at right now by colleges? Man, this connection is bad. What's up? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I got you. You were you were uh, froze there for a second again. Yes, But yeah, I go to Trinity Catholic, left guard, center. What positions are uh, colleges talking about recruiting you at right now? Are they looking at you at left guard or center? Uh, inside lineman, so center, left guard, right guard. Okay. What's your current height and weight right now? Uh, I'm 6'4", and I'm 290. Okay. What's your ideal playing weight for the season? Uh, I want to get up to 310, 300, somewhere around there. Have you had your wingspan measured? Uh, no, but I know my hand size and it's 10 inches. Okay. So this off season, you know, before everything got going, you know, with this new upcoming season, what was the focus for you, you know, in terms of your technique? You know, what, what did you really want to work on to take your game to a higher level? I want to get much faster on my first step, second steps, much quicker, more explosive, stronger, hand placement. What about the uh, focus in the weight room? What were you focusing on there? Well, I was really focusing on squat, bench, and cleans. Getting, getting really, more powerful. really working on that explosion overall, huh? That yes, burst. Sir. Are you working with any trainers during any of this? Yeah. Yes, sir. Who are your trainers? Oh, uh, Calvin, he's a weightlifting trainer, and Aaron Johnson, he's my O-line coach, and I train with him probably like five days out of the week. Okay. This offseason, um, any camps that you were able to visit? Yes, sir. I visited a lot of their camps. I went on a tour, two bus tours okay. from the school and Showtime 707. Okay. Okay. So you got to see quite a bit then. Yes, sir. <clears throat> were there uh, – any visits that kind of stood out to you? Oh yes, sir. It's always good to have a have an idea, you know, of just things that catch your eyes right away, you know. Yes, sir. So I mean, you know, you are twenty twenty five, and you still have a little bit of time. But are you enjoying this recruiting process so far already? Yes, it's really exciting. It really is. It's a blessing. Definitely, definitely. I noticed that you were at the University of Miami towards the end of July. Is that correct? Yes, sir. When was that during the cookout? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you get a chance to uh, meet with any of the staff while you were there? Um, not really. I was just with Tommy Kinsler, the um, yeah. player. He was a uh, senior last year. Mm -hmm. He went to Miami. He was the right tackle. Yeah. Four-star. You know, as far as the teams that have been showing you love, you know, what 
staffs have you been able to build a relationship with, you know, so far in your pro in this recruiting process? Um, I'll probably say USF, South Carolina, Louisville, Purdue. The main one so far? Yes, sir. So you guys, you already started your season, correct? Yes, sir. W was that against Key West? Yes, sir. How did that first game go for you guys? Went pretty good. We won 59 to 17 or 14. Okay, okay. Man, you guys you guys went out there. Yes, sir. I didn't get much playing time that game. Was that just because you guys got up early? Yes, sir. I got you. I got you. They didn't want to risk any injury to you. So about – in your in your assumption, you know, just with the limited playing time you got, you know, did you drop a couple guys down for some pancakes? <laughs> yes, sir. I That's figured you did. Mandatory. Yes, sir. I figured you did. I figured, man. It doesn't take you very long. I watched your film, man. That's one of the first things I noticed, dude, is you got that mean drive, dude, where you just drive dudes into the ground and you keep them on the ground, you know? Yes, sir. So this year, you know, Trinity Catholic, you're, the team you're playing with, is this a younger team this year or is this a more experienced team? This is a younger team. Uh, we had a lot of seniors that left. We probably had like 13 seniors. Okay. So we're rebuilding. We got a good relationship. It's real good. We're getting mighty close on and off the season. I mean, Phil. Um, great way to start with a big win like that too, you know? Yes, sir. Any personal goals for you this upcoming season? You know, certain amount of pancakes you want to reach or just any anything you want to do, no sacks, you know, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm going to be playing defense this year, so I'm trying to oh. do that. Okay. At least like 18, 20 sacks. They're going to put you over to defense full-time this year? Oh, yes, I'm playing both ways. You're going to play both ways this year. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you. Because I noticed uh, they had had you play defense a little bit last year too, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so they liked what they saw from you and uh, wanted to make sure they got you on that side too, huh? Yes, sir. First play I got in was fumble. So what position are you going to be playing on the defensive line? Uh, no tackle, three tech. I mean, compared to, you know, what you've been used to on the offensive line, are you enjoying playing that three tech position on defense? Yeah, it really, it opens my mind because I'm an offensive lineman, so I already yes. know. Like, I know everything, so it's pretty it's pretty fun. It's kind of getting the secrets from both sides, you know? Yeah. And you, and you get to experience it firsthand, so you know what it's all about, really. Yes, sir. What do you do for foot speed drills, you know? That's one of the things that when I talk to uh, co college recruiters, especially offensive line, you know, defensive line recruiters, they talk about foot speed very often with me. What do you do for foot speed drills? I do jump rope. We do like tw 10, 20 minutes of jump rope before we start working out. Ladders. We do bands on our feet. Things like that. Do you guys uh, have like a, a Vertimax there? No, for sir. Not for that? Okay, you just, do the, you just do the bands off of a platform? Yes, sir. I got you. I got you. Any uh, balance or leverage drills that you do? Yes, sir. W what are those? Uh, we... One legged, push each other. You gotta stay tight, stay square. You get the bands around your ankles and you pull them in an offensive lineman stance, things like that. Yep. Have you played any other sports? Uh, yes, I played basketball and I did track. Okay, okay. How do you feel those two sports have helped you on the football field? Um. Basketball helped me with my conditioning, yeah. and you know, shot put just is like, a, yeah, yes, sir. I got you. I got you, man. Who's the biggest high school rival you guys got? Mm. I'll probably say. Forest. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't play them on the schedule, so 
oh, they're not on the regular schedule, huh? Yeah, so. So when you guys meet up, it's a it's a playoff battle then, yeah? Yes, sir. What Did you guys get to play? Did you actually meet them in the playoffs last season? No, they're not in our class. Okay, okay, okay. So you, when have you had the opportunity to play them? It's been a while because of the last game. Okay, okay, I got you. <laughs> I got you loud and clear, man. What are your biggest strengths on game day? You know, like what? where do you feel you already excel on the field? Well, I feel like I'm more educated in the game. My office alignment coach, he's a very good coach. He taught all of us in and out, X's and O's. What gets you most excited on game day? Probably 15 minutes before the game when the coach is talking to us. Hyping us up. Yeah. They were getting that talk in. Yep. I get that one often from recruits when I ask them that. It's that's that moment right before the game, you know, when the heart's just pounding, you're just ready to go out there and, and pretty much do some physical contact. Yes, sir. So, so you know, you're going to be playing, you know, defense and offense. I want to tailor this one just around the interior offensive line for now for this question. Yes, sir. What traits, you know, you personally, what traits do you feel make an elite interior offensive lineman? You know, physical, mental, what, what are the traits that are needed to become an elite interior offensive lineman? First, you just got to have that dog mentality. You yep. just got to I gotta finish this dude in the ground every play. And then you just got to have the strength to do it. You got to have the – just got to be a dog. You got to want it. Yep. Then the interior, man, the battles and stuff, the mauling that goes on in there, bro. It's it's not even seen by a lot of the cameras because it's just so tight packed in there, man. But yes, you sir. already know, bro. It's just yeah. it's just done the battles down there. there. I'm a I'm a big believer in the trenches, man. Like I'm a big believer in trench bullies, bro. And it's one of the big reasons why I wanted you on this show because you are a trench bully. I noticed that right away on your film. Yes, sir. Thank you. So if you had to describe your game to somebody who's never seen your film, how would you describe your game to them? Um, like a Wayne Johnson type and a Trent Williams. That's impressive. Or more like a Jason Kelsey. Okay, okay. I mean, that's that, that shows your versatility right there. The fact that you think that you got those kind of combination of those guys, that shows some, some major versatility, honestly. You know, you got a little bit of time, but is there anything important to you already when you're looking at colleges in terms of factors of of importance for you picking the college? You know, relationship with the coaches, development, all that kind of stuff, you know? I'm trying to have a great relationship with the coaches, have a, a good decision for me, best spot for me, that fits me, that's from the family. I got you, I got you. Now, let's say... You know, you got a school like Miami, and they're wanting to recruit you in the interior offensive line, and their head coach happens to be an offensive line coach, Mario Cristobal. Does that appeal to you, honestly, to have the head coach being very well-versed on the on the position that you'll be playing? Yes, sir, that is. Okay. That okay. is. And what about early playing time? Is that something that also kind of – is something that you're that stays in your mind? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, I like to get in the waters early. I like to jump in the sharks, and yeah. So you, you're not a, you're not afraid to get some of those bumps and bruises out of the way, so you can you you want to learn like actually on the field, not just at a practice, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I get, and I respect that, man. I respect that a lot. <clears throat> Who are your favorite players, and why? Um, Paris John, you said on the line. Any, any anywhere, honestly, you know, anybody you look up to that you uh, take a take a little bit of their game from, if it's offensive line, defensive line, either one. Paris Johnson, um, Trent, Jason, just men that really that really shows you. They really, they really open your eyes on the game. Yeah, no and doubt. And all of that. 
the maturity level that they play at as well, man, you know, that experience level, you know, that only comes with time, you know what I'm saying? Like that's so valuable, especially when looking at a guy like Jason. I mean, he's got, he's one of the best of the best at what he does every single year, you know? So at this point of the uh, interview, what I like to do is I like to give recruits a chance to show some love to people who've helped them out along the way, you know, uh, coaches, family, trainers, you know, anybody like that, go ahead and give them a shout out and show them some love. Uh, I want to thank coach Brantley, my mom, my dad, God first. He made everything possible. Just a lot of people helped me on the way. And it'll be, it'll be a lot to say I'm all. So yeah, I got you. I got you, man. I understand. So what's they next for you then? Well, oh, what was that? Sorry. I said they all know I appreciate them a lot. I got you. I got you. So what's next for you and your team? Who are you guys playing off next? I would play CCC, Clearwater Christian. We beat them last year. I'm trying to make that happen again. Okay. How can people find you on social media? Go ahead and plug them with your social media accounts. Um, at Twitter, it's Jared Gordon, G E R R I C K G O R D O N. And then on Instagram, it's big dot G underscore one K. Well, Matt, I just got one last question for you here, man. And I'll let you get on with the rest of your night. It's a question I ask everybody. It's the, it's the last question I ask everybody I bring on here for interviews. Don't matter, you know, recruits, coaches, ADs. It don't matter, man. Everybody gets the same question, man. Why do you love the game of football? What makes you want to go out there on a weekly basis and compete at such a high level? At a young age, I fell in love with football. At like four years old, and I just been fall in love with the game. It's like a, it's a good feeling when I play. It. It's just get all my anger out. You can actually put hands on folks and not have to worry about getting in trouble. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've heard that a couple times from uh, recruits. They like that. They like that aspect of the game, you know, and I, I don't blame them. <clears throat> well, man, just thank you for taking the time tonight to let fans get a little more familiar with you. You know, you being a 2025 guy, I definitely want to stay in touch, you know, so we can uh, bring you back on in the future. You know, let fans a little bit more, let fans know a little bit more about your recruitment, your development, you know, as time goes on, all that good stuff, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to see how you do on the defensive line with more snaps this year, honestly. I'm really intrigued by that. I didn't know they were going to do that. I think that'll be pretty cool, man. I think that's actually going to be a pretty good spot for you, especially with all that burst you've been working on too, you know? Yes, sir. Well, man, you have yourself a good night. We'll, we'll stay in touch most definitely. And, uh, man, just best of luck this season to you and your team. Thank you. Have a great day. All right, guys. That is one of the, like I mentioned, one of the underrated 2025 offensive linemen in the class. Mr. Gordon there from Trinity Catholic High School in Florida is going to be a problem. He's got the strength and he's got the mentality. He's, he seems to be getting the coaching as well already, which is fantastic. I noticed there's some some pretty fine technique actually within his game in, in certain moments, which I wasn't expecting from 2025 when I was looking at some of his older tapes. So I think he's been actually getting coached properly for quite a while now. And that's always, there's always something to be said about that, especially when it comes to offensive line or defensive linemen and practically any position. But of course we know how big the trenches are and you guys know how big the trenches are for me. So of course I'm going to try to highlight something like that, but man, thank you guys for joining us tonight for another interview. Hopefully we'll be getting back here more a little often. Um, took a little break here. Sorry, guys. I just took a little minor break here before the season started. Had to clear my head a little bit, but uh, we'll be getting back to things here a little more regular. And uh, thanks for joining us for another interview at RNG. You guys have a great night.